New game modes, hundreds of weapons, and thousands, that's right, thousands of unlockable items. Hi everyone, this is the Mapped Out Gamer, and this is the multiplayer world of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's take a look. I generally pick up uh, the overall feel and gameplay for a first person shooter in the free for all arena. You know, kind of taking it back to the roots of these first person shooters. And if I were to use two words to kind of best describe the overall feel of the gameplay, uh, I would have to say fast paced and dodgy. Advanced Warfare stays true to the old Call of Duties with short times to kill. Uh, this adds to the up tempo, fast paced multiplayer matches. With the introduction of the exosuits, this allowed me to dodge and maneuver more in firefights. As well, I did encounter some dodge technical issues throughout the game. I've been playing on PC for about a month now and I've just been blown away with all the content that's been compacted into this game. With so much content to unlock it was like a double-edged sword though. I wanted to continue unlocking items but I still found myself content with weapons and items I had already gotten comfortable with. So let's talk about some of the new game modes that are introduced in Advanced Warfare. First up, Momentum. This particular game mode felt original to me. I hadn't seen it in any other previous first person shooters. Perhaps they already did it, but I don't recall. Having five flags in total that need to be captured by a team, each flag point's firefights will be as intense as the previous ones. What's unique about Momentum is the faster you kill the enemy at a flag point, the faster you'll gain that capture, thus creating momentum to win the entire match. Another new game mode that was introduced is called Uplink. Even though this game mode is new to Advanced War, Warfare, I have seen this game mode before. Those of you that have ever played Unreal Tournament 2004 will know this is very similar to the game mode Bombing Run, minus the Translocator gun. With the addition of the exosuits, I was really glad to see a game mode catered towards the new abilities. Uh, Uplink is basically, you know, an extreme version of basketball. Uh, grab the drone and drop it into the enemy satellite. I was a big fan of this game mode in Unreal Tournament. Of course, we did have the Translocator guns. Nevertheless, the Advanced Warfare version of this game was still enjoyable and pretty fun. These two new game modes really push team effort, so you definitely want to set up your class uh, appropriately for what role you want to play and just stick to that role. If you're more of a non-objective based player like myself, uh, stick to free for all or kill confirmed. I really enjoy those two game modes. If you were watching closely, you'll notice that I was actually playing against bots in this gameplay. I was unable to actually get into any online multiplayer games of Momentum or Uplink, thus bringing me to my next segment of technical experiences in this game. From the day that Advanced Warfare launched, uh, I have seen improvements on lag and other technical issues. I believe they've released at least two patches or maybe one since the launch on PC. Unfortunately, PC gamers will actually get the patches a little bit later, uh, you know, since Sledgehammer Games caters more towards the console systems. But, you know, be patient, they are coming. Sledgehammer Games chose to stick to an, more of an altered um, P2P technology, which is not horrible, uh, but, you know, why not go all the way, you know, raise the bar and go with dedicated servers? You know, some of the reasons I can think of why they didn't do dedicated servers, uh, I'm sure cost had something to do with it, maybe overhead. As far as we know right now, I don't think they're going to be coming to Advanced Warfare, though. I did experience long wait times in certain game modes, uh, you know, waiting in the lobby for a while. I can't really blame this too much on the game, uh, since multiplayer always matters on how many people are online, there geographical location, internet speed, there's a lot more variables that go into the matchmaking system. With that said though, uh, I couldn't get into any matches for Momentum, Uplink, Ground War, uh, I barely got into a couple of Capture the Flag games, uh, Free For All and Team Deathmatch were the main ones that I can jump into quickly. The user interface I felt was kept pretty clean and straightforward, uh, it's very text based. For the literally thousands of items to unlock and alter and customize, uh, the interface didn't look too cluttered. The waiting lobby felt, you know, pretty interesting. You could see your character and things like that. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat to see your opponent's characters as well, and then you can see their loadouts as they change. I also really enjoyed the fact that you can jump into the shooting range as you wait for a match. That's the end of part one of the world of multiplayer in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Stay tuned for part two. Don't forget to like, favorite, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.